Yeah, hi guys, Peter back again for another video. This video was promised by me a week or so back, and, um, and it's, it's to do with what, what's been in the CD player. What, what have you been playing in the CD? I did one for vinyl uh, a few days back. So, as I said before, guys, I mainly at home I play vinyl. You know, if I'm in the car, I'll use plug my phone in and so on. And at night, we'll have headphones with the phone. But um, I and I haven't played many CDs last few months or so. But I have lately, so I'll just show you what I've been playing. Uh, you got on a bit of a Rolling Stones kick bef uh, a couple of weeks ago. Played some of their albums. I put this one on, and yeah, I remember um, it's a classic album, Biggest Banquet. Yeah, I remember um, Sympathy for the Devil's on this. My well, two favourites will probably be the first song and the last song. Sympathy for the Devil and Soul to the Earth. Really love that one. And so that's been in my um, that's been in my CD player recently. And you know, I like um, Jigsaw Puzzle. It's a very good song, but it's considered a classic album. I, I, I like uh, quite a bit of it, but um, it wouldn't be my favourite album by them but it'd be in the, oh I don't know not in the first few but around that but um it's it's better than I remember it being I I, I like it yeah that's um Beggar's Banquet it's quite a good album Beggar's Banquet one um that is considered one of their best not by me I've got uh, I'm a more of a Excel and Main Street or Sticky Fingers person but um Let It Bleed but real considered a classic but I do, you know, it's give me shelters on this. Um, you can't always get what you want. And I do like, um, what's that other song? Let It Bleed, the title track. So I gave that a spin, quite a good album. There you go, 1969, Beggar's Banquet is 68. So I gave that a spin. Uh, this one, very psychedelic from 1967, their Satanic Majesty's Request. This was rather interesting. It's got great sounds on it. Um, uh, they they did two thousand two thousand man is a stone song, very poppy version. Kiss later rocked it up, did a uh, great version of it as well. I love two thousand light years from home though. I love that, and she's a rainbow. So it's a real good song. This is a grower for me. I mean, I haven't pl didn't play it for some time, and um. Uh, quite some time. I've had this for years though, but I I remember playing it quite a bit, and then. Not playing it, but I put it on the other day. Um, some good tracks on here. They said Tenic Magic. Love the cover though, don't you? It's a really great cover. Yeah, so this one, um, I'll be sure to play a bit more. Though I've had it for a lot, quite a while. And another Stones, the fourth one I put in. Uh, it's only Rock and Roll from 1974. This is quite good. Not quite up. Uh, for me, Goat Said Soup is a highly underrated album. Not quite up to that standard, but. Pretty decent. Angie's on here. Fingerprint Files, a great song. The last song. Uh, Time Waits for No One. That's wonderful. The guitar part with Mick Taylor. And, um, you know, Ain't Too Proud to Beg, the cover. Yeah, so, um, yeah, there's the back of it. So I gave that a try. I gave that a spin uh, recently. And just the last couple of days, bit of, I've been playing a bit of Pink Floyd on vinyl, and um, and yesterday and today I've been playing. Could put the CD on Animals, one of their best albums. Um, dogs, people's a lot of people's favourite off this, but uh, mine is Sheep. Love dogs though, but Sheep is my favourite. I love Pete, pigs, three different ones. The the album is basically those three long tracks with those bookended pigs on a wing songs. Yeah, there we go. Uh, real one of their best albums, a must-have, a classic album, and one that uh, is a bit, uh, another Pink Floyd, one where fans are a bit divided on. A lot. I've heard a lot of people say they love it. I've heard a lot of people say, "Oh no, give me the old stuff, you know, the real old stuff." But um, a memory tree laps the reason. I found it quite good. Um. I haven't played it for some time, and I played it uh, yesterday, in fact. I love Learning to Fly, always love that. Dogs of Always, good. Not as good as Learning to Fly for me, but good. On the Turning Away is a bit, uh, 
uh, not as good, but comfort got a comf comfortably numb feel about it. But it's a real good song on the twenty ways. The guitar solo on that's good too. Sorrow is the last track, pretty decent. Uh, another one called One Slip is pretty good. So yeah, worth a listen, man. Pretty good. And this is getting the treatment at the end of the year. The um, whole big box set deal with the surround. I think it's a surround sound vinyl and the whole business. You know the, the box sets these days, which will be interesting. If people love the album, they'll go and get it, of course. But um, yeah, there it is. Uh, pretty pretty good for me. This one, pretty good listen. So there you go. Some of the stuff I've been listening to the last two weeks or so. On CD, not many there, but uh, I've, fr I've been throwing CDs on a bit lately, so that's great. And let me know what you think of these albums. And uh, I'll see you guys again very soon. And there'll be another live stream, I promise, in the next day or so. But I will uh, make a note of it, put an announcement. Okay, guys, see you uh, for the next video. Bye.